Hey y'all, Irix guy here back again with the Phantom 4 and several of you asked me, they said, hey man, should I upgrade to the Phantom 4? And I'm gonna give you my unfiltered review. Now keep in mind, this is my opinion after a few test flights. Obviously I've flown Phantom 1, Phantom 2, Phantom 2 Vision Plus, Phantom 3 Professional, and now the Phantom 4. And I'm gonna give you my honest opinion in regards to the Phantom 4. So from a build quality perspective, the build quality seems to be greatly enhanced. The body itself seems to be a lot more durable plastic type material. The, uh, the way in which the camera mates with the body is greatly superior in my opinion. You don't have all the, all the things hanging below that are subject to failure. Remember those little spongy things that would often fall in and out, uh, or fall out rather? You don't see those anymore. It's very clean on the bottom of the Phantom 4. Also like the way the props go on and off. Uh, just a push and a twist it's very convenient very clearly labeled you got some with the black nipples some with the silver nipples and you match them up and and pop them on this does have obstacle avoidance although it's not important for me because i fly a line of sight to be safe um, it is a good gesture uh, from dji to include that uh, because if there are people that may be less experienced that likely shouldn't be flying a drone uh, those are the people that uh, Obstacle, avo obstacle avoidance may enable them to avoid a potentially hazardous situation. So from that perspective, I like it. The camera itself, although I have noticed that the gimbal seems to produce more steady video, uh, the camera itself, it's still 4K 30 is topping out. So Phantom 3 Pro, you're gonna get 4K 30. So I can't, I can't recommend the Phantom 4 over the Phantom 3 Pro just because the gimbal's a little bit smoother. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, it comes down to a uh, cost difference, and more than likely, the Phantom 4 is likely going to currently come in at a higher price point than the Phantom 3 Pro. I do like the way that they've spaced the landing gear out more. Uh, so far with my flights, I've been unable to get the landing gear in the, in the camera's frame, and that's incredible, because occasionally with the Phantom 3 Pro, I would. Um, the, uh, the props, they still enter the frame if I have my camera ang if I have my gimbal angled at a certain uh, angle. But obviously, if you tilt it down, you can keep the props out of the frame. Uh, one thing that I'm slightly disheartened about, you probably know with my previous Phantom models, that I had the quick disconnect prop guards installed. The new the new motor design on the Phantom 4, it's the ones that I had don't work. So I've got to find a quick disconnect prop guard solution for the Phantom 4. A lot of people laugh at me. They say, why do you use quick disconnect prop guards? Why do you use prop guards at all? Well, a lot of times when you're landing on the front of a boat or another hard surface, when it lands, it may topple over. And if it topples over, you're probably gonna break a prop or seriously damage a prop and or the object that it lands on if you don't have those prop guards on. So for that reason, I'm a big hardcore prop guard advocate. With my Phantom 3 Pro, I never broke a single prop. And that's the result of using the quick disconnect prop guards. So what's my final opinion in regards to the Phantom 4? If money's not an object, go ahead and get it. It's great. It's better than the Phantom 3 Pro. It's the best drone on the market today. Keep in mind, we haven't seen the GoPro Karma, which is expected to launch at any moment. And I have a feeling, my gut suggests that likely what will happen is that we'll see a new Phantom 4, maybe a few different Phantom 4 models that will respond to the features that are gonna be present on the GoPro Karma. And one of those features I feel is going to be a 360 degree camera. So if you don't know what a 360 degree camera is, it's a camera that's filming spherically. So you've got a 360 degree view, meaning that when you're flying your drone, you're filming in all directions, straight down, forward, backwards, all directions. So when you replay that video with a compatible player, such as YouTube with a Google Chrome browser, when you're watching that video, you're in essence in the cockpit. So if you want to watch the entire video facing forward, you can. If you want to watch it all in the behind, you can. To the side, you can. Or if you want to constantly change your view throughout the video watching experience, you can do that. That's the value of filming in 360 degrees. So that's the next big thing for drones in my opinion. And my gut tells me that we'll likely see it with GoPro Karma and we'll likely see DJI Phantom release the 360 degree camera to keep up. So would I buy the Phantom 4 today? If money's not an issue, get it. Best drone on the market today. I can say that with confidence. But if you wanna save some, potentially save some money, Phantom 3 Pro, 4K camera, that's the way to go. 
and you can find them all check the link within this video's description to 400 or below.com and be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irixgaff y'all have a good day and fly safely Hey all Irix Guy here, I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership and y'all have a good day.